Welcome to the section of Shopify Store Basics. In this section, we will discuss all of about uh, main basics of uh, Shopify Store. How to start your Shopify Store, how to add your pages, your menus, your products, your design, your theme. Let's begin with lecture one. With the basic, with the basics of um, Shopify, we will discuss all of about uh, themes, blog posts, pages, navigation, domain, and the preference. All of these uh, appears to be the main topics of Shopify store uh, basics. Later, we will discuss more about uh, product, how to add a product, how to customize the product, uh, orders, payment, payment methods, uh, advanced setting. Let's begin with the first uh, lecture with the themes. Firstly, we are going to work with themes. Let's click here at uh, the theme. Themes uh, considered uh, the main part of the e-commerce uh, store because of it represents the looking of the e-commerce of the e-commerce e store for the user or for anybody comes to your uh, online store. Uh, to start with the themes, uh, we have to go to customize theme. At the customize the theme, here we see a lot of options like uh, the, the main presets or default presets, uh, colors, uh, typography, uh, header, uh, footer, home page, home page slideshow, home page uh, featured products, uh, home page featured uh, collection, home page uh, featured the content, uh, product page, uh, collection page, uh, also a uh, card page, uh, social media and uh, checkouts. So all so that all of these uh, options um, at the theme we will uh, deal with. Um, also we will customize and manage all of these parts at uh, this lecture of uh, themes. Also, on advanced um, section, I will teach you how to add, how to install a new theme, maybe free or purchase theme. So let's begin with this lecture at uh, the theme. The current uh, theme. Firstly, uh, we are going to um, the presets. Let's try to see the presets. Here we see the presets um, red and uh, black. Um, red and black, uh, this is the sets. Uh, we can do that. Um, this is the default uh, color. At uh, this, uh, we can uh, change uh, all of these uh, pre uh, presets. Uh, so, uh, at colors, um, let's go to the colors. Uh, uh, to show up you um, all of the, these uh, default uh, colors at your store. So here we see the background, the default background, which appears uh, to be a white color, uh, lines and uh, borders, as you see here, lines or uh, borders. Here we see the primary uh, buttons and uh, links. So when we start, okay, this is, this is the link. So this color for uh, represents the links. Also here we see the uh, primary button text, uh, with the color oh, when it comes to uh, the buttons like uh, this this button so this um, primary button text um, it will be appear represent with this color also here we see the secondary uh, button with the uh, other color also here we see the the secondary button text um, also here we see the text uh, default text color um, social media so let's uh, start to uh, change these colors um, or change uh, default settings uh, with colors. Firstly, I'm going to change the background color. So let's uh, try here. Okay, here we go. So this is the color which I'm going to choose. Okay, here we go. Here we see this uh, color uh, has been changed. Also, um, we can do um, another thing with uh, another... Uh, also, we can choose um, uh, different or multiple colors um, as you see here at this part um, okay let's go to choose this color it appears to be um, good to choose good color okay um, 
then I'm going to uh, save the settings if I want. So here we see uh, save changes. Let's go to the store and make some refresh. Here we go. Here you see the the new settings um, for the color. Here we go. So let's come back to the admin. Also, we can change uh, other uh, color. It depends on uh, your choice. Uh, okay, let's try to uh, change this color uh, uh, for uh, for the lines uh, and borders. Uh, okay, I'm going to choose the, the color to be a uh, full black, as you see here. Okay, this is the color for uh, the lines, and uh, also I'm going to uh, save this uh, change. So okay, that's all for um, this part of um, uh, colors. Uh, now I will get back um, again to uh, the settings. Uh, here we see at uh, theme um, typography. Let's go to choose the typography. At uh, this part, uh, we can choose um, the default settings for text. Text on body, uh, text for header or heading, uh, normal text, paragraph text, or other features for uh, paragraphs uh, on the site, like banner, like uh, links, or uh, different um, uh, types. So let's go to choose uh, the typography uh, default. So here we see the body text. The body text uh, represents with the font uh, font type. Here uh, we can choose or uh, change uh, these uh, settings by uh, choose uh, another um, uh, font type like um, ASAP. Also, we can choose uh, the page uh, size uh, to be uh, greater or uh, less, to be uh, maximized or uh, minimize um, the base color. Also, here we can choose um, uh, advanced settings for the typography for uh, headings. Here we see the font of the heading, uh, like um, cabin and medium. We can choose uh, another um, paragraph like uh, Asab Black. Here we go. Okay. As you see, uh, we see this uh, this text um, for heading uh, changed directly. Also, uh, we can uh, change uh, the color to be um, 34 if we want to do that. Here we go. Here we see the heading uh, changes with the size. Also, here we see the navigation and button. As the navigation and buttons, we can change uh, the font color. Uh, sorry, the font uh, type and the size. Let's try to go to the... Um, font here then i'm going to uh, choose the uh, cabin here we go this type appears to be changed okay also uh, we can change the size here i'm going to change the size here we go okay that's correct as you see finally uh, if we want to uh, save change we can um, put uh, push this uh, button with the save or clear uh, changes if you want. So I'm going to uh, choose um, save, save changes. Here we go. Then close this button. Okay. That's okay. Good. Good. Now let's come back again to continue with the settings. Uh, let's change uh, the header. Here we see the header. Okay. Click here add the header. What we see here? Logo. Use the custom logo. If we want to add a custom logo, here we see the logo uh, will will be represents at this site um, with the size of um, 45450 um, width and height um, 200 uh, pixel. Recommended. Uh, this uh, default settings are uh, recommended uh, from uh, Shopify. So let's go to uh, choose the file. Okay, I'm, go I'm going to choose. Uh, okay, let's choose uh, this file to be uh, to represent the logo here we go let's try okay use a custom logo if we want to uh, choose a custom logo by click here okay here we go that's correct here we see this uh, logo but it uh, it's it's uh, maybe small okay uh, i'm going to to replace this uh, image um, to be with other uh, image okay here we go let's uh, try be patient to see what will happen. 